I've got another one. <laughs> what is going on? What is actually going on? Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, all of a sudden I've got a lot to unpack in what I thought was going to be quite a simple video. Raid have dropped their 10 times event, which we knew was coming. I did a video on that. But they've also dropped a guaranteed champion summon at the same time. So we've actually got a guaranteed chance to get ourselves a Candrophon if you pull 150 Ancients. And 150 Ancients is not going to be like my free-to-play territory. But some people save shards just for this. So I'm going to go into this champion in a second. But we've also just got the Summon Rush drop. This is one of the things that I've been waiting for. Because if you remember right at the start of this fusion, I said this could be... Uh, this could be a number of things. So we could see the rare at something like 1,700 points, or it could be as much as, uh, I think I said 2,500. It's coming in at 2,150. Still quite a lot. That's like four sacreds worth of shards or three sacreds and a bunch of voids, or maybe if you've got a decent amount of uh, ancient, uh, sorry, mystery shards saved up, then actually... You could probably get there with mystery shards if you've been playing the game for a while or maybe like a couple of sacreds and a bunch of mysteries i would say for most players that's your best approach by the way a couple of sacreds and burn a load of mysteries and then you save good resources for the future but we also spoke about the epic and, and i kind of said right at the start on my free to play i wonder if i should have like avoided the champion chase and gone for this epic hard because the epic could have been somewhere like three and a half thousand points but they've put it in at a whopping 4925. 4925. That's 10 sacreds or 9 sacreds and a bit. Like, that is a pretty obscene number. I'm so glad on the free to play that I went the way I did in terms of picking up the goats, goat farming instead of trying to farm this epic because I would have been incredibly sad come today. As it is, in terms of getting the goat, I'm in a good spot. I'm going to show you my shard pulls on both main and free to play here. So uh, this video might end up coming, becoming a number of things, but hopefully you'll love it anyway. Hopefully you'll watch it till the end. Hopefully you're subscribed to my channel, those 50% of you that never do. Um, but anyway, let's get into Candrophon. Now I will be, even though I've got candy on my main, this is a meta champion, especially for the arena. Okay, we're talking about one of the best offensive defense champions in the game so candy why is he so good in the arena he's just an absolute freaking beast this guy he's got one of the hardest hitting a1s in the game if there is a buff on the enemy target he'll hit twice that double hit is up there as one of the hardest hits it's actually super cool because in the arena often if you're going second you're going against people that have got a buff he'll go in and he'll give them a double slap and they don't get up from that they don't get up from that. Not the double slap. He's got an A2, which is an AoE. It is a cannon. Um, basically, just, just an absolute nuke. That's all it is. An AoE nuke. Nothing special about it. He does get to reset the cooldown of On the Hunt, which is his, uh, his third steal here. But a lot of the time, you actually turn off the third steal in the arena, and you rely on someone else in your team giving him his buffs and stuff. Because, basically, you want him to go smack into smack. Basically, look, he gets uh, an extra turn and resets this. But the extra turn is the important thing. So he smacks AoE. If someone's still alive, it's probably because they've got an increased defense buff. He's like that. I'm coming at you with the A1. If you don't turn off his A3, he does the big slap, kills two people, and then he goes, and now I'm buffing myself. And you're like, I just needed you to A1 that Duchess before she picks up the whole team. Uh, but he doesn't. So... A lot of the time, you just turn off this A3. But the A3 for other content, you know, perfect veil, increased attack, increased speed, increased crit damage, is actually like an obscene level of buffs. Yeah, it's, it's like self-preservation, absolute nuke, absolute nuke. And by the way, I'm going quicker. It's a really cool skill. But honestly, for most fights in the arena, you just turn it off. We've also got here a brilliant passive. So damage increases by... 40 percent yeah you heard it right four zero 40 percent whilst attacking under veil or perfect veil 
He's actually an awesome champion alongside a Duchess. Just Duchess throws those veils out. Even if Duchess revives, she's thrown out a veil. So this is a great partnership. Uh, he receives 40% less damage whilst under veil or perfect veil. Also boosts his champion turn meter by 15% each time this champion receives veil or perfect veil. Um, and he's got this active effect as well. It's on a three turn. Places perfect veil on himself for one turn each time an enemy's turn meter is filled. And you cannot remove this buff. So basically what that means is, let's say you go second, Arbiter speeds up the team or whoever it is, Seeker, doesn't matter. There's always going to be someone doing it. He basically puts a veil on and takes 40% less damage. And then by the way, when he gets his turn, he's going to hit for 40% more damage. He's an absolute freaking beast. I love this guy. Good stats and stuff like that as well. He's got an attacking arena uh, aura. Don't tend to use it often because generally you're bringing either a reason to make someone tankier or faster for arena but i guess some people might use it so on my main account i will be getting a dupe because you know what eventually you want to try and uh, if you're if you're trying to go arena meta you're either looking to fill up your faction guardians or if it's already full you're looking to empower people that are meta champions that's that's kind of the way the game has gone especially for high-end players so yeah i'm going to be doing uh, my ancients here and guaranteeing myself this and then we're going to go on to the free to play and uh, see what we get see if i can get my first ever legendary champion on the free to play through shards we'll see so we're going in on the main i'm guaranteed obviously the candy after the 150 but can we get anything along the way does mean i guess that i don't use up all blues of course there's no like super duper boosted rates or anything like that it's literally a normal rate summon so you see a lot of blues this week. But we do get gold. A big one! New for the account. There you go. I'll take it. I will take it. That's someone to have a little mess around with. I didn't expect it, honestly. I didn't expect any gold until candy. So we will take that. A non-dupe. It's so rare for me to get non-dupes on the main nowadays. So pretty pleased with that. So big one's got like three AoE abilities. Um, you know, if you put him in any, any sort of control set, then honestly. The enemies don't get a turn. He just keeps people under control. AoE decrease speed on him as well, which is pretty cool for Hydra nowadays, I guess. But yeah, damn, didn't expect it. Okay, cool. What else are we going to get? What else are we going to get before Candy? Come on. It's not really, even on, on the main account, it's a, it's a sad state of affairs, but it's not really any epics that would change my account. So I am just looking for gold hits. It's why the free to play is a bit more interesting in terms of shard pools for me because it's like there's way more stuff that could be useful on the free to play. I've got another one, a lady Kimmy. <laughs> what is going on? What is actually going on? This is not what you expect to see from ancient shards. Incoming uh, comments. Content creator rates are boosted. Um, which of course they are not. Oh, and we got a goat as well. We'll take that. Actually, I didn't. I wasn't looking out for goats. I don't, I don't know if I've had another one. That's actually just helpful for the main. Well, it's just helpful generally, isn't it? If you get some goats, it just means you've got to do less stuff. Anything else? Come on. Damn. So far, way above expectations here. I'm already like, yes, this was worth it. Thank you for dropping this surprise uh, candy event. Any more on the way? On the road to candy too. Okay, I need to make a bit of room. Okay, we need 40 more to get the guaranteed candy. I'm going to see where this puts me on the summon rush after doing 150 shards. 150 ancients. Where does that going to leave me? That's 20 points. That's about 3k worth of um, shard pull in there. I'm actually on my main. I'm going to get the epic just to save me having to do more events. So I will pull perhaps a few sacreds as well. Come on. What else? What else? All rares, no goats. Moving on. One game. Another legendary Kandrafar! <laughs> so obviously, we knew it was coming. Right, let's just see where I am on points. I think I should be at 3k. And I need to get to 5k. Yeah, 3k. So I need 2,000 more. 
which is four sacreds. Test our luck on the sacreds. Are we going to get any more legendaries today? Come on. This is the difference between free to play and pay to win. Pay to win is like, I just want to do it quicker. Free to play is, I'm grinding this bad boy out all the way. Bunch of epics. Any gold? Hit me with one more. Go on. Ah, it is what it is. But that should be job done on the main account. Yep. And let's bring in the free to play. So this is, this is for me is the exciting one. And it's worth just kind of bringing up at this point. So free to play life. We've got artifact event dropping soon. Dungeon divers. This has been tough, by the way. Because I've been farming pretty non-stop. I've still got to get another, what, like 1,800 points just to get the goat here, which is tough going. Uh, we've got the artifact event coming up. Obviously, that's just about silver. And then we've got Fire Knight dropping today as well, which is going to help me with that Dungeon Divers. But basically, I'm going to have to pour a load of energy into Fire Knight to get that side done. Otherwise, I've still got the Classic Arena to do, but I've done every other goat that there's been. So there's, there's three goats currently, no, four, I guess, with Summon Rush in the, in the mix. But they're all stuff which, oh, yes, we'll take it. They're all stuff which is um, achievable, I think. But it is getting tough. Like, my gem count is, is a bit lower than we'd like it to be. So with this, I need 2,000 points. I'm just going to go straight Sacreds and not use any of my Voids or Ancients. I'm going to save those for another day. But we're going to go straight in with four sacreds, which is... Is that bob on, bob on enough? Maybe I need a bit more than that, actually, do I? Can't remember the numbers now. It was 2150. Yeah, so four sacreds, one void. And then I'll do a few mysteries uh, later on. Come on. Do we get our first legendary? Bogoth! Bogoth on the free-to-play! Oh, it's so big. It's so big. This is a huge pull on the free to play. This is better than probably most legendaries that I could get. This unlocks Bommel for me big time. Wow, that is a massive, massive epic on the free to play. I will take it. Really pleased with that. Absolute tank as well to get me through other content. Number two, we've got a Gordrab, like a mini Arbiter. Also big, honestly. Until I get Arbiter. This guy is a straight upgrade to my spirit host in Arena. Even naked, he's decent. But yeah, he's going to be... He basically replaces two jobs that my Arena team are doing right now. A speed lead and an increase attack. Also big. I'll take it. Come on. Come on. Still no gold, though. Hordin. When they first sold Hordin, he was 44 99 now he's down to $14.99. That tells us how good Hoarding is. Massive deflation. <laughs> Come on in. Still no gold on this account. Urticata. This is an interesting one. So we've got Poisoner, basically. Poison sensitivity. Hex. When Hex is out there, chance to place poisons. I do need a better clan boss setup, but I don't think this is it. She is a decent champion, a decent enough champion, but I don't think she gets in ahead of some of the other ones that I've already got built out. So probably going to be a nothing champ. I confess I did not want to pull this champion from my Void Shard. So I don't know. What do you guys say? Like I'm, I'm, pretty, um, I'm pretty down on the free-to-play luck. Yeah, the free-to-play luck is like pretty damn annoying. I've had... A couple of good epics along the way. Yeah, we've got Seer. I can't grumble at Seer. I've got Venomage. I've got the Fat Man. Armenia is okay. And I've just... And I've got Fane. And obviously we've just pulled a couple of good ones. But still no gold in all this time I've been playing. And I've been playing for a while now. So, I don't know guys. Like, I feel like it's done okay. But it feels like it's pretty damn cursed to me. Anyway, loads going on in that video. Good luck if you're putting shards today. I've been Hell Hades. I will see you later.